introduction demo for SCP Enterprise Portal. And in this uh, demo session, uh, we will cover these points. Uh, the first one is introduction. I will just introduce myself here and uh, then why to opt for this course and uh, some basic information regarding SAP Enterprise Portal and the portal architecture and uh, followed by summary. So introduction means um, I'm just Karan. Uh, I'm having four years of uh, IT experience in uh, SAP Enterprise Portal. <clears throat> and uh, I will be conducting uh, these sessions on SAP Enterprise Portal. Uh, <clears throat> why to opt for this course? So basically, uh, whenever we start any course, we should must have answers to the two questions. The first one is, uh, am I going in the right direction? And the second one is, uh, will it be physic uh, will it be fruitful for me? So uh, why to opt for this course? Like why to go for SAP Enterprise Portal? SAP Enterprise Portal is a very niche technology nowadays, and as far as business is concerned, SAP Enterprise Portal is a must. Why? Because whenever you want to see reports or any graphs or bar charts, everything that comes up together in one platform that is SAP Enterprise Portal. So uh, even if I say what is the purpose of SAP Enterprise Portal is, it's very clear. It's with business. We need to deal when we need to have to discuss, uh, deal with business, then we go for SAP Enterprise Portal. Hello. Does anybody join? This is an SAP Enterprise Portal introduction demo. And uh, this demo session, we will be covering just the introduction to SAP Enterprise Portal, basic architecture, and uh, what is the business need for SAP Enterprise Portal. So as we proceed, in today's, why SAP Enterprise Portal is much needed these days? As far as business is concerned, like if I take an example, like if I am a businessman and uh, I have a business of pharmaceutical uh, products. So uh, I will be more concerned about in what, in which particular region my product, my stocks are getting sold and how the sales are going on. So I can get the information by two ways. The first way is like uh, every seven o'clock in the morning, I will be getting an email and in that email, I would be having graphs, bar, uh, bar graphs, pie charts, dashboards, uh, which will state my reports. Uh, my stocks, my sales values, and all these things. Or the other way around is, I am having a web application in my smartphone, in my laptop, and whenever I want to just access it, I can access it. So, so out of these two, which one is more feasible and which one is more easy and quick, and it's like you will get it at the at uh, any point of time. It's portal. SAP Enterprise Portal. So this day, this is the point where it comes into picture. So I just need to clear one thing. Uh, the web application, when I say, it's inside the organization mainly for business users. For business users, not uh, it's not a exactly a website because website is uh, like it will be used globally. Any user from any uh, anywhere anytime can access it but portal is uh, basically for the business purpose when the when the company or the business they decided okay 
now we have some common websites. Uh, let's look at uh, this uh, graph for the web activities of a particular business. First of all, they come up with a common website. Uh, the common website is like, okay, uh, we have a one form which with username and password, that's it, and that's a common website. But later on, they realized uh, that now our business users need much more than this. Okay, we have a website for our products, but what do we have for an internal organization? How the, the users or the employees of an organization will be interconnected? Then the concept of portal came into picture. So now if we uh, see here, like the common website, business information platform, integration of platform, and platform for efficient collaboration. These are the web activities that go further and further, and then they demanded portal. So what is an SCP Enterprise portal? It's a web application. Okay, it's a web application, but on what technology it has been built? It's based on Java Enterprise, uh, Enterprise Edition engines. So basically, it uses Java, JSPs and Enterprise Java Beans. On the on that, the SCP Enterprise portal has been built. So, if I go further, we have lots of enterprise applications. In SAP itself, like we have SAP ECC system. It's an R3 system which is more and uh, more connected to SAP BW Business Warehouse. We have SAP CRM systems, customer relationship management, SAP SCM, SAP PI. So these all are third party systems, uh, not the third party system, it's actually in the SAP, but these are the enterprise applications. Like we have business warehouse, we have data warehouse, and it's a complete picture where you have different applications, you comes into a different end user desktops. Like if you can see the diagram here, like if we talk about SAPC system. In SAPC system, what we have? We have different products, the, the, the values or the information regarding different data. This comes into legacy system. We have customer relationship management. This comes under into CRM. Then we have enterprise resource planning and group where data warehouse, internet, these all are end user desktop, but these are for different for different applications we have different desktop. For different applications we have different desktop. So this this is the picture from where we can see that we have multiple applications and for multiple applications we have multiple web applications. What if if we can merge it into one application? Like a particular user will just log into one URL and there he can access his VEX reports. Actually, VEX reports is, uh, it's again uh, from SAP BW, like uh, from Business Warehouse, we derive reports, which are generally called VEX reports. Uh, VEX reports, SAP Business Objects reports, or mainly the dashboards, or the reports, or the, the graphs, anything. So how if all the applications merge into one URL. So it will be easy for them. Like they just have need uh, one URL and there they will find any, everything. So now we come into what is SAP Enterprise Portal. So SAP Enterprise Portal is a business tool because it will be directly contacting with business. And the most uh, the, the most important thing about SAP Enterprise Portal is it's a single point of access to all the contents and all the applications. Just as I said, like if you consider SAP Business Objects, it's a reporting tool. What it does, it generates reports on a data. On what data? Depending on the business. So if I need to business object reports, there are two ways. Either I will log into business object explorer i'll go there and from the documents i'll just navigate and then i'll go to that particular report or i will be having a particular link in my enterprise portal i just click that link and tada my 
report will be shown in the web, uh, web page. So it will be easy. So it's a single point of access to all the applications, be it BO reports, be it Rex reports, be it dashboards, anything else. Also, we can merge the business warehouse things in SAP Enterprise portal. Like our business warehouse key codes, we can merge them. So it's a personalized and customized role-based interface which can be adjusted according to individual requirements. How this point is, uh, I'm going to explain. Like, I am. We have like, if we have two users, one is having an access to one particular region, let's say US, and the other user is having access to another region, let's say Switzerland. So, in the portal we can actually give the security or we can actually give the authorization then a particular user having access to a particular region he can see only that part in the portal it's a very interesting thing means when we go further we can understand how we can implement these uh, security and authorization things and the other thing is single sign on facility SAP Enterprise Portal provides single sign-on facility on LDAP. Uh, what is LDAP? Uh, Light Directory Active Protocol. We will understand. Uh, we will get to know about these things late in later session. But this is the, if we say, brief idea of Enterprise Portal. So this is the brief idea. Like SAP Enterprise Portal is nothing but a Java application, but in another way. SAP has introduced a NWDS Native Developer Studio. Like if you want to customize your portal, like if you want to add new links and everything in your portal, you can use NWDS. It's a developer studio. However, the, the coding would be in relevant to Java. So if you know basics of Java and some little bit uh, part of Java, you know, it would be very, very beneficial for you to understand how to customize your portal. However, we have some uh, template, basic templates on which we can uh, develop things in portal, but yes, if uh, you know Java, it will be very, very beneficial. But if uh, you don't know much about Java, then we can also cover that because if you know a little bit or basics of Java, we can go further in that and we can develop our customized applications. So right now I, we understand, okay, what is enterprise portal? Enterprise portal is a business tool. Like mainly it is used for business because the users, the business, they doesn't, know about like how the data is being loaded or what is your ETL does extraction or the transformations you have done in the backend side. The business is just concerned about the reports because let's, let's say uh, I've just given you an example. Let's rephrase it. Like a manager is more concerned about the particular region is doing good or not. On what basis he will get to know that, okay, uh, like if I'm uh, uh, a manager of a departmental store, and I want to know, okay, uh, my grocery store is there in a particular region, like let's say in Hyderabad and in Delhi. So if I want to know my which region is working good, how can I judge that? I will be judging that on reports on feedbacks of the customers. So like if a particular region, I have, since I've got some feedbacks, okay, this particular region is not doing good. So on that, I can make decisions. So to make the decisions, I need reports. I need dashboards. So all these things comes into enterprise portal. So that's why it's a business tool. So now we'll go further on our business motivation for portal. Why business need enterprise portal? Okay, we just got to know, okay, because it's a central point of access for all the applications, content and services. Apart from that, why business needs an enterprise portal? It will be more clear when I just go to these th three parameters, like heterogeneous systems, complex business environments, protected technologies and communication protocols. So what are these three points? The first point is heterogeneous systems. Okay. The, the main thing in today's business is its IT landscape. You can see IT is everywhere. It's 
in medical, it's in finance, it's in crafts like foods or something. Everywhere we have databases, we have data warehouses built. So everywhere we have IT. So the best way to define a business is reflected in their IT landscape. How? The the IT landscape, you know, it, it, it is the heart of your business in today's world. Why? Because everything runs on IT. So how business needs portal? The first thing is heterogeneous systems. Now we know that we have lots of data coming from lots of different different systems. So this is why it's called heterogeneous system. And now we have to put all the systems into one platform because we have to understand it. So on that, we have to make that all the heterogeneous systems, all the different systems from different different uh, different uh, parameters, different things, they should always come into one single point. So this is the first thing. The second thing, okay, if now the systems are different, obviously they will make it complex. Like if we say SAP ECC, there the data or the how the data is structured and everything would be different. In CRM system, the data structure would be different. So all the heterogeneous systems when it comes into one place, so it will always be complex things. So to how to deal with these complex things with the help of a SAP Enterprise Portal and also protect technologies, yes. Why? Because we, we have authorization uh, things in SAP Enterprise Portal and believe it, it's very secure because we define roles, we define the portal administrator, it, he defines roles and all the authorization schemes. So it's purely and purely secure. So these are the three things. Means a business, why business needs portal? Because it needs a, a platform where all the other systems should come and there should not be complexity because if complexity is lower, then obviously your performance will increase. And also if it is coming from all the systems, it should come into platform so it should be protected. So with the help of portal, you can also secure it. This is the, uh, this is the login screen of a portal. It looks like whenever you get, actually I'll just, uh, write the URL pattern, like how the URL should look like for a portal. Just give me a second. So the, the URL for portal should be HTTP double slash server name dot host name colon port, port number slash IRJ. This is a basic, uh, IRJ is the basic terminology. So this is the URL of a particular portal, the server name, the host name we can get from basis team and also the port number. So by typing this URL, when you type this URL, you will be redirected to a U login page. Oh, I'm sorry. This one. So when you provide the credentials, it will be created by the uh, security team and the basis team. So you will be redirected to this particular you can see here HTTP server the server name host name uh, colon port slash IRG slash portal this is the screen which looks like when you log in in SCP interface portal now you can see uh, a web page with home and employee self-service. These all are the tabs. So what are these and what are their goals and what, what are, I mean, for why these are there. So we will study that in a future sessions. So just, uh, I would just want to have, give you a glimpse. Like this is a portal, a SIP interpreter, how a portal, how it looks like. And we have number of links there, number of tabs, 
in a particular tab we can have number of reports that we will study later and also we can uh, customize our links as well so now uh, before I go to this slide which explains the portal architecture I just want to go ahead and I just want to introduce to you about my SAP uh, NetWeaver. Now, we know, okay, basic things about SAP Enterprise Portal now, but what is the exact architecture of SAP Enterprise Portal? How does it work? So before we go into SAP Enterprise Portal architecture, we should know about this term SAP NetWeaver. SAP NetWeaver is a platform. Like when you have to run your business applications, you need a platform, right? So we have a platform by SAP, which is SAP NetWeaver. And portal is a part of it. If you can see, portal is a part of SAP NetWeaver of people integration part. Like we have people integration, information integration, process integration, application platform. You don't need to uh, worry about these because these all things is a big deal in itself. Like we have to then deep dive into all these things. Uh, we just need to currently because if we see multi-channel access it's for mobile applications so basically we will uh, concentrate on portal and also on mobile applications today if we see SAP enterprise portal on mobile uh, on smartphones it's fury we can have a basic discussion on that also in our future sessions but right now we are very more concerned about portal so portal if you can see here this is the single point of access and if you can see it comes with these things like business packages business packages are pre-built packages for a portal like when you install portal there are some things which comes by default what we call it as shipped with the portal so these all are the pre-built packages or the business packages which are inside the portal so updated net portal network is like you can connect one portal to another portal as well portal development kit is nothing but that thing that I just told you for the customized application. The customized application you can uh, derive from Java, that, that is NWDS, Interview Developer Studio. But now it also we can uh, develop customized application with .NET as well. So this is it. I'll just go back now. So basically, you just need to know about a term that is SAP NetWeaver. That's it. What is SAP NetWeaver? It's just a platform. You know, when you run your business application, so it needs a platform that is SAP NetWeaver. And portal is a part of SAP NetWeaver. So that's why sometimes we call it SAP NetWeaver portal. So now let's go to the architecture. But before we go to the architecture of portal, again, uh, we need to know about three terms that is SAP PRT which is portal runtime environment because portal is nothing but a web application so to run a web application we always need a server so we have application server java and portal content directory portal content directory is nothing but the objects or the the folders or the, the all the things of portal that we need to see in a web page so this comes under portal content directory So, <laughs> so when we say about portal architecture, it's like portal is nothing but a web application. So from a browser, I'll just type my URL, what I have just shown you, and then I'll be redirected to a portal. So now in portal, we also comes across different things. However, it will be too uh, complex right now. If I'll say like, if I use words like I use work sets, pages and all roles things I will use them but uh, not now I'll just say as a link I'll not you not uh, say I've used because uh, it would be more complex at this point of time we will study about that uh, so I will just say link so whenever you click a link what will happen at the background you have portal framework which is portal runtime which is mm, you know it is called the heart of portal why? Because as a human body is concerned, like our heart works, 
it provides blood circulation it provides blood to every part of the body so the, uh, with the, with the heart we live right so that's why it's portal runtime it's also a heart of uh, framework because with the help of portal runtime portal runs how whenever you click a link so portal runtime gets triggered and it observe okay uh, the link is what kind of link it is is it a url link like a different uh, to go to different website or it's a, a report link like to go to some report or to some dashboard or it's a folder link like to go to some folder or some documents in the repository of portal so if it is a website link uh, url link so a page builder will work on it like it will uh, go and search for a particular page and then it goes and if it is like portal services like some user management services we have and the portal content directory so it will go there so portal runtime decides after we click the link it observe the link then it send the link to that particular uh, department then uh, we have collaboration knowledge management it's very important because km we can store our documents everything in the km so that's why knowledge management is also referred as a repository of portal user management engine is like uh, it's regarding the security and users authorizations like if a particular user i just uh, given you an example like if a particular user has access to a, a region so he will be able to see only the reports of that region in portal so all these user access and all the authorizations is maintained the user management engine and also the creation of users uh, lastly things are like data sources data sources is like the data from where, from the from where we can get the data like it's uh, an sap it could be any website or it could be any third party tool and also in user management engine we have like sap java users ab app users that that we will study in our further slides so this is the part of the portal framework like the prt which i said portal runtime you need to be very familiar when you whenever you know okay i need to discuss the portal architecture three things you should know prt which is portal runtime the second thing is pcd portal content directory and the last is application server because to run a portal application you need a server so portal runtime as i already told you it's the heart of the portal environment it means like all the applications like in technical terms the portal runtime is an application running on the application server which delivers the runtime environment for portal components as i already told you like it will decide okay uh, if a particular link has been triggered so where to go okay so in this slide it's uh, mentioned and pcd is portal content directory here you will be having all the objects of the portal be it i views be it work sets everything will be there in the portal content directory and the user management serv service is like it acts uh, interface between your prt and ume so you just need to know about this so this is uh, the flow of a request like when you trigger and how it happens so when a user click the link on the portal so the url request is sent to portal runtime so then it see okay whether it's a user management or whether it's a portal content directory based on that it sends a request to the portal components page builder admin tools and everything else then again a page will come in an html form it, then it will be sent back to the user okay so it's written there like on lo launching an i view i view is nothing but a link for the uh, for for the time period you just uh, consider it as a link we will study it so the portal runtime passes the request identifies the portal following objects whether the object requested from the portal content directory or from the user related data so we have two kind of requests we could have a page request which will be handled by page builder like sometimes we can ask for a web page which we have developed in html <coughs> so it could be page request which will be handled by page builder and also we have the link request so it will be in i view request so there could be two types of request so this we studied like this is the sapnet viewer only the part of this the portal we will 
now study so this is uh, something which is important as far as your SCP enterprise portal architecture is concerned some components and characteristics of SCP enterprise portal the first one is comprehensive platform support what do you mean by this comprehensive platform support like if we go just one slide before like it says it can be run on Windows it can be run on Unix on Macintosh every plat any kind of platform it can run so it provides comprehensive platform support fine business packages these are the things which are predefined packages which already come like if uh, I say about Java in Java we have some predefined classes where we already have some codes we don't have to write them again and again we can inherit them and all these things so these are the predefined packages business packages which comes shipped with the portal and we don't have to again create them like some templates we know okay we have to create an URL link so how to create that there's always a temp there's uh, already a template for it we don't have to code again so these things this is the minor example which I've taken so these other things as well so these are the things which are prepackaged so business packages are there language support it supports 30 30 international languages so it's also a very physical like it's very important like whenever you have to go interna international so you need to support international languages as well so not only English it supports 30 languages interoperability interoperability like we have always a scope of customization so with this we can customize portal and it the tool which we use like to uh, customize a page or login page because if I just go back and I show you the page the login page is like this but if you want to customize it like if you want to have some links there or some good photo or good things you can always do it so this is how you can do it with customization with a tool which is called Interviewer Developer Studio. It's a Eclipse tool, but an enhanced version of that. So we can do Java coding on that. So it's always feasible. It's always there. Like you can customize your things in Portal. And the last is Federated Portal Network. As I already told you, like multiple portals you can connect. So these three things which are which I am focusing and these are the three things which is very important PRT portal runtime container PCD portal container and application server Java because we already we all uh, we already discussed about PRT and PCD However, I didn't emphasize much on AS Java but yes it's important because it's a server server is always important when you have to run your web application and so this this diagram is nothing but the uh, the already which I have discussed uh, this is a little bit uh, more in detail like I have just discussed okay when you when a user just click on the link uh, so it just went to the PRT but how does it went to PRT there are some servlet classes if anyone knows about servlet so it's uh, very easy but if no then we can just google it out like servlet is what servlet is like uh, it's a, an application which is used between your web application and the database server it just acts as a middle layer just so uh, it's just a basic definition of a servlet but we can go further on that so uh, it just execute a servlet then servlet will take the the request all the things are same it's just an enhanced version of the flow which I have already discussed uh, whenever we comes to portal we will be having lots of uh, terminologies like uh, I use uh, work sets pages rules these all terminologies which we will uh, cover it uh, but in our future sessions as well but uh, we should know about these things what is I view what is work set what is what are pages rules in portal what is MWDS MWDI if you know about these terms then most of the part of the portal is covered like content admin system admin user admin we will uh, study about these things so we have come to the end of the session 
which is like what is the basic of SAP Enterprise Portal, need of SAP Enterprise Portal, SAP NetWeaver, okay, and uh, evolution and history of portal, portal architecture, and basic terminologies used in SAP Enterprise Portal. Currently, we are using, uh, we, uh, we have the version of SAP Enterprise Portal is 7.4. It has started from 5.0, uh, then 6.0, then 7.0. 0, 7.1, sorry, uh, 7.0, 7.3, and now the latest version is 7.2, software package, I think 2, I'm, I need to just check it out, but the latest version of SCP and Depress portal is 7.4. So, any questions?